Guys, I'm in our 8050 working ground. Woohoo! A lot of stuff going on. I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but that's the sound of a vacuum running, which means plant 2020 has officially begun. Stay tuned to the video. It's awesome. Oh, I'm excited. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hearts and Family Farms. Today you got Ron, second part, se second video of the day. We had a lot going on, so definitely gonna wanna stick around. It was pretty awesome. And I'm looking for my backpack and I don't see it. That's not good, but let's get in the video. There Brian's going and there's our old anhydrous toolbar that we're probably gonna be getting rid of here soon. It's gonna be a nice toolbar when we uh, put a couple new things on it, but yeah, we are getting rid of that thing. We're getting a bigger one. We need a bigger one. There's the new water tank. Dad's reseeded this, and he's working on the fence right now with Shane. And I'm gonna go dis some more. That fire over there is the state ground, the CRP field getting burnt, trying to get their vegetation down. So that's kind of cool. It's always good to see productive fires that's uh, beneficial to everyone the, in the whole ecosystem. Hello, cows. In the bottoms here along Bellevue, or west of Bellevue here, heading up, coming up on our ground. I'm gonna go in the big hollow and where it needs to be reseeded, where it's just cows just hung out too much and got too wet so the cat and the cattle, that combination of it getting too wet and the cattle hanging around it too much, stomped the ground, really just made everything a mess. This, so this piece is gonna be beans here. Small hollow is right here. Big hollow is across the bridge. So I'm down here in my dad's pasture. There's not a ton to do down here, but we definitely need to reseed it, that's for sure. The cattle just kind of tore it all up. So I'm gonna disc it down once or twice, then we'll drag it. But you can kind of see the cattle just tore this all up. So I'm just gonna make like a couple passes through here, disc it up nice, and then we'll reseed it. Stuff is working up kind of nicely actually, but man, it is rough. We are glad we are doing this. And the cattle just came in here, just destroyed the seating, that is for sure. So now I'm working the ground on a 40 acre field south of the highway. If you guys remember, we deer hunted this right here. I'll link to a deer hunting video. This is the video I shot my big buck. I actually shot my big buck where that burn was going on a little earlier. I should have I should have mentioned that. But this is my dad's ground right here. So we deer hunt this all the time. It's good, there's a lot of deer in here, that's for sure, and turkeys. I actually just saw a turkey not too long ago. But Again, this is another steep hillside that we like to rotate hay in and out every couple, every two three cycles the cycles like three to five years so it was like this about approximately the slope but i don't know how steep but steep so i better pay attention so i don't knock out my dad's fence he wouldn't be too happy yeah this stuff is steep i actually got stuck in my sprayer a couple years ago right here thank you to my dad for trimming these trees though that's for sure and i didn't hit it with the disc that's good this stuff couldn't be miserable here is the exact spot where I spun out. Let's see if I can make it up this hill. 22%, 25%, woo, made it. Definitely power hopping though. Man, auto steer is a beautiful thing. I got it on identical curve, so basically just following the last path I did. And man, it is nice. Maybe because I don't have to do anything. So this is going to be hay in the next next year. This will be our hay crop. Kind of looking forward to it. Get this crappy stuff and when I say crappy, like really steep. Get this real steep stuff in all grass and really save the soil, build it up. It's going to be great. Man, I love GPS. I said that enough. We need to get GPS on more of our tractors. This is a steep one. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. 1900, 1800. Pull. Dust is flying. It's gonna make some great hay ground, that's for sure.
That pasture's dissed. Everything in Bellevue is dissed, so I'm gonna head back to the farm. Let's go back and let's see some planting action. I'm hoping Pat's just getting rolling when I'm getting back. Let's move. And for those of you guys who think that I never drive anything, I'm just the specialist. I do whatever's available. We're all done with the 8050 right now. I'm bringing it up top. Not driving it back to Preston like I originally thought. Taking it back up top. We're gonna leave it parked here for the night. My dad's gonna bring me, me and Brian back to Preston. Alrighty, let's shut her down. I just let her idle for a little bit. It's kind of relaxing. We'll go see what Budman's up to. All right, done with the 8050 for the night, done with the 7120 for tonight, and Brian looks like he's got probably six or seven more passes left. Then we're done with that field. Then tomorrow, someone's got to be up here for most of the day tomorrow to drill the rest. But hey, we'll get her done. So let's go check on my dad, see what he's up to. <laughs> Tomcats. All right, back at the farm. Pat's got the planter all ready to go. So in the next hat, we'll probably load it right now, and then we'll get planting. Woo! I'm gonna guess we're gonna go with a Cornelius and a longer maturity. Here's a 112, 112. Alrighty, guys, so Nathan's out rolling in the field cultivator. He almost has all this 200 acres worked. So we'll have quite a bit to run for a little while. I'm getting Pat's monitor set up right now. They're getting the seed tender work done. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm getting all Pat's main planter functions all, all ready to go. So we got all of his field, field names, his GPS stuff, his field, his uh, vacuum meters and his markers. And then this is his uh, main run screen that has all the what planter population you're working at. So your, your target's this red line if you're above, if you're below. So just trying to get that all for him ready. All right, monitor's ready to go. We're gonna start filling up with seed. Let's do this. All right, so we're using this seed tender. Basically, it has a box that gravity fills into the seed conveyor, and dumps it up in here. It's a really handy purchase. This thing's easily sick, gotten its money's worth out of it. We the beast. All right, Pat and I are gonna get going. Wouldn't be us planning if we didn't start in the dark. We always do. All right, so we got the vacuums running right now. So Pat's actually gonna prime it with basically test it. You hear the vac spin up and you should see seed come out here. What he's gonna do is basically just fake the meters like we're planning. I think his PTO wasn't on. There we go. Forgot to have that vacuum on. So what we're gonna do is prime it, which is basically, like I said, testing, faking like it's planning. So hopefully we'll see seed shoot out of here soon. There we go. There's a seed. Starting up the planter for the first time of the year is always a stressful time. Trying to get things figured out. So we're trying to prime it right now. Right now, boom. There we go. Seed, 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 seed. All right, they all primed well, so let's get her moving. Sensor issue on 13, which is right the right half of the plane of the innermost row unit. So we're just watching, making sure the drive shaft's turning. That's one benefit of having a mechanical drive. Instead of electric drive, you can see them when they turn. So everything's looking good. We just think we have a seat sensor going bad. All right, first pass of 2020. Seems to be in the ground. He didn't stop, so he not, must not have any alarms. And everything seemed to be running, so. Let's keep it moving. I dropped you guys, but we're gonna keep moving. Looks like we got the green light. Well guys, we were planting corn. We have our first 20 acres in the ground. I'm just switching out with Nathan. So now Nathan can ride with Pat, make sure everything's going good, and maybe get some experience on this planter. But the GPS is running. Oh, it's a good day. We're actually planting with GPS this year. This is gonna be awesome. So here we go. He's just dead heading to his GPS line. 
he's gonna start going. I'm in the side by side, I'm tapping out, I gotta head back home. Gotta work a little bit tomorrow. Curtis is working ground. Over there, you can kinda see the lights. The 340 Magnum and the soil finisher is running. So he's turning in, we'll see if he can get his GPS on. Those LED lights, by the way, are awesome. Link will be up here, or a link will be in the description for uh, Amazon, but these LEDs are not stock on this case. It is awesome. Probably one of the best add-ons we've done. So Curtis is back there working ground. He's gonna get 100 acres work. Nathan already got 200 acres worked here, so we're dang near, we're, we're gonna be almost ready for tomorrow. Hopefully Pat can have a 200 acre day tomorrow. We can get Nathan maybe going 50, that would be awesome. So here we go. I just saw his GPS kicked in because he jerked. Alrighty, he is going. This is awesome, guys. I'm excited. We're on the board. So let's head and go get some to eat. Shh. But if you ever wonder what cows do at night, that's what they do. They just lay and act like they're eating cud with the shoom, shoom of their stomach, of their jaw. No, don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. You don't want cows to get up at night. Alrighty guys, I'm calling her quits for tonight. It was a long day, a fun day, and a great day because we're getting stuff done. This corn is in the ground. So I'm getting, going to get something to eat right now, and I'm going to close this video out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.